welcome back to everyone who are watching the news. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So right now, we're going to be covering all the helicopters that were found in the big old leak that happened just a bit ago via data mines. And there's some pretty scary stuff here. Also, some pretty silly looking stuff. But we'll first start out with the United States. There was three helicopters spotted that would go for them. First off is the AH-6 Little Bird, a helicopter I recognize quite well from my days of playing Call of Duty in Battlefield. Quite funny how many modern military shooters use this helicopter that was actually built in the 60s. Of course, it is still around in service. The variant that we are getting in War Thunder, possibly, looks to be the 60s variant as it is armed with only rocket pods and tow missiles. Nothing special looking, though perhaps I am wrong. Where would this go in the tree? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it became a premium, like a low tier GE premium for US helicopters. But I don't know, maybe they'll make a random branch for more odd helicopters like this one. The next one is a far too bizarre helicopter for my own liking. It is the H-56A, a failed prototype attack helicopter that was armed with just about the same things that the H-1G was armed with, although I believe this one could also carry things like tow missiles. Despite its bizarre design, I doubt it's going to play anything different than any other helicopter out there, opposed to, besides the very few helicopters that you have to get close and nuke everyone with rockets, which is a little too easy. Although that's besides the point, it's more fun to actually fly the helicopter than sit in the back and point a cursor at tanks. The final helicopter for the United States was the YAH-64, a prototype Apache. This helicopter popped up quite some time ago. I think the first time it was spotted was in a dev blog preview video being shot down by another helicopter. Despite that, it never came to game. Now we once again find the model of it in the data mines. However, I don't think this is proof that it's eventually going to come to game. I'm not sure if it'll ever come to game. I think the situation was that it never actually fired Hellfires. I, I got Probably killed was by capable of it, though, so they might as well just give it them. However, I still find it's probably more likely that this is just going to be one of those things that lingers around in the files forever. Now, as cool as these American helicopters are, and they are very cool, the Russian helicopters, well, at least one of them, was a bit terrifying if it does enter game. But before we get to that one, we have to get to the disappointing one, the MI-4V. Can't mark down exactly what the V variant of the MI-4 is. Currently, we have the AV in-game. I think the V variant is just a regular MI-4 that had been upgraded to carry armaments as the, apparently that's what the V stands for. Really only notable factor about this one opposed to the one we currently have in game is that it has Czechoslovakian symbols on it. The other Czechoslovakian helicopter in the Russian tree is a premium, so is this also going to be a premium? Or maybe like a vent vehicle? Though who would grind an event for the helicopter that you basically get for free once you've reached rank 5 in either tanks or planes? Not only that though, this is often referred to as the worst helicopter in game. The MI-4 that is. I doubt this variant is any better than the current one we have in game. So what do you think is going to happen with this one? What's the purpose of it? Anyways, the next helicopter, what I think is terrifying, is the MI-28NM. A helicopter so modern that I don't think it's actually fully in service yet. It might still be under development. This is like the regular MI-28, but more OP. From the pictures I can see online, it can carry up to 16 ATGMs at a time, and these ATGMs that it carries can vary in a wide variety. There's the 9M-120 27 Ataka VM ATGMs, which are a very modern ATGM. I don't know the exact details about, and Wikipedia is not telling me their max range, but I assume it's quite a distance because it's a very modern ATGM. But the helicopter was also equipped with radar, not just any old radar, but radar to able to pick up tanks. And the reason for that is because it can also fire 9M123 Chrysanthema ATGMs, which are the same ATGMs on that one tank destroyer that Russia has that can lock onto tanks tanks through brush or smoke. But those have a pretty short range. I think on the tank, they're about six kilometers max. So it wouldn't be the end of the world, just you couldn't smoke out to dodge the ATGMs. And the helicopter would have to be in SAM range to successfully use them. I believe you have to keep lock of the enemy tank until the missile hits. The third type of missile it could fire, which is only a plan, so maybe it won't find its way into game, is the Isdele 305 or LMUR, a light multi-role unified missile missile, which if we read about here, says that the new LMUR missile is fitted with a internal guidance in initial fight, flight, with mid-course updates by 
and operator before the target is acquired by the missile's own seeker. Given its range of 25 kilometers, the Russians create a missile that is an answer to the American JAGM, J -A -G -M, missile. The missile tacks targets at the top of the turret at 60 to 70 degrees, which allows it to bypass many modern APS systems. So yeah, top attack ATGMs with a 25 kilometer range. Sounds fair and balanced. Gaijin, definitely please add this helicopter to the game. It definitely won't be complete BS. Of course, besides ATGMs, it can also carry rocket pods and has a 30 millimeter cannon right below the nose. Now there was three other helicopters, not for Russia or the United States. First one, we have the H145M for Germany. This is a very modern, fairly light helicopter. It can carry gun pods and rocket pods, and I assume ATGMs, though I can't find any pictures of it carrying them. Being oh so modern, I assume the ATGMs it could carry were some pretty scary ones, but I am unsure. Then there was a UH-1 model HKP-3C, which is a Swedish Huey, though I am unsure as well what this thing could carry. I assume just the usual Huey loadouts. But perhaps Gaijin is working on adding a Swedish helicopter tree soon. Very interesting. And then there's one for the British, the Westland Wessex Mark V, which to my understanding is a naval transport helicopter, and I can't find any information on any armament it could carry besides British people, which, according to history at least, can be pretty deadly. Although I'm uncertain of how effective they'd be in War Thunder, it's most likely that Gaijin would just string this thing up with some SS-11s. And that there, my friends, is all the new helicopters spotted in this leaked data mine, or it'd be like a data mine leak. Regardless, my next video in this series should be about the vessels, and they are some pretty interesting ones. So be sure to hit the bell icon to be notified when that goes live. A quick shout out to my Patrons, YouTube members, and Twitch subs. Thank you very much, dudes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, don't hit the like button. If you did, do hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Comment down below if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or you can hit me up on my Discord. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. In the terms of bonus news, you know the ZTZ-99 is supposed to have a death laser? Okay, well, not really a death laser, but it's a death laser for your electronics. The weird box behind the Commander Cola detects incoming lasers, like laser rangefinders or ATGM guidance, and shoots back a laser ray of its own. And that doesn't just annoy the enemy or throw off ATGMs, it actually, apparently, destroys optics. Essentially, if you laser rangefind a ZTZ-99, it will shut your thermals off. Gaijin, please add, you already have the box modeled. 